already. Uh, I'm very delighted to be here in Hanoi uh, for the official launch of the RISP initiative with uh, the representative of uh, the city centers and uh, many arts. Um, as you know, uh, probably as you are not fully aware, I have this time for the French Institute of uh, Research Institute for Development and uh, I have been the main institute for cooperation with CIA. Um, I have been entrusted by the French government with three main uh, missions to develop basic uh, knowledge, scientific knowledge, to contribute to the establishment of scientific communities in the South and also to provide expertise and carry consultancy on major development challenges. So ERD and uh, CIRAD are also uh, gateways in the French research system which includes universities, uh, other advanced research institutions, uh, CNRS, CNRA, all of them of are also sources of basic of applied research and knowledge in different areas and disciplines which can also uh, contribute uh, to our science uh, as a whole. So, uh, among many other domains, uh, preservation of living resources, water management, uh, contribution for food security, uh, very high priorities and high <coughs> research uh, offering of programs. Uh, it will be largely mobilized to fulfill the risk project types. Uh, IRD has long experience of research in rice and uh, in collaboration with international centers, um, either by hosting scientific staff and city centers to contribute to programs uh, of common interest, or to collaborative projects with centers like uh, SCAC, IMI, um, and usually supported by the uh, international program, the like Generation Change Program for Genetic Resources, or uh, water and food uh, charge program for water management. Uh, in risk, the uh, IOD contribution uh, will be focused on Team 1 and Team 2, uh, which is the main area of expertise at uh, IOD. So we will work particularly in genome analysis, gene discovery, and gene cloning for important threats for plant breeding application. Um, as Hildo uh, Berlin mentioned, very impressive work uh, has been done in a very limited time, uh, in also a very uh, inclusive and participatory manner. Uh, I remember <coughs> particularly the, the two very intensive workshops we had at Thierry uh, to prepare the different teams and uh, product clients, uh, integrating all the information was not an easy task, really, but uh, uh, finally we were successful and I uh, would like also to, to pay tribute to all the colleagues at uh, IOE, at SIAT, at uh, Africa Rice, uh, <coughs> to, to, um, who during this very long journey toward the formulation and now approval of CRISP, uh, which demonstrated clearly that uh, Reform at CGR is now uh, uh, a reality with a new uh, modus uh, operandi. Uh, the, the open minded approach to willingness to each participant to embrace the new model of collaborative global program uh, was very much uh, appreciated by the, the French institution. Uh, joint programming and uh, co constructing on uh, uh, mega program which the French research team can be also a source of additional funding. Uh, recently, I'd like to mention that in the, concept, uh, in the context of the preparation of the risk, we have also the opportunities to, to prepare uh, uh, a project to the French National Research Agency, uh, which is uh, the mirror of RISP, and uh, it is called FRISP, and probably uh, an important part of the research uh, dedicated to this initiative will be connected to RISP. And we believe that uh, we have some reasonable uh, chances to obtain this meeting, uh, which will be coupled to, to RISP. Uh, I would like also to mention that for IOD, the development of uh, scientific community is uh, of paramount importance. 
so that training, capacity building is uh, very crucial for Greece also. And uh, this will require substantial and uh, long-term investment. So I would like to, to uh, finish my presentation and I would like to cite the opportunity to announce that I did also at the same time initiating an open research laboratory with the Vietnam Academy of Agricultural Science and the uh, Institute of Agronomy and Genetics uh, in, here in Hanoi. And this research unit to be operated as a research platform, an open research platform focusing on mice. And uh, it will work initially on different projects on oil genomic, emerging viruses in South Africa, identified with national and regional partners. And uh, all these activities were designed in a way that they will also quickly contribute to the research objectives. So the, the objectives really are common. And uh, also, of course, uh, many other the scientists uh, present and work in mice in Montpellier and also abroad are very motivated for this uh, initiative and they will do their best to contribute to the increased uh, achievements. So, uh, to finish my thoughts, I would like just to, to thank and to uh, congratulate uh, Hakim Ibaman on the Mark Provo Prize for Africa Prize. Jotome is not there, but uh, he's represented by uh, César Martinez for the very uh, uh, good, wonderful, very professional coordination work they have done to finalize this crisp uh, uh, proposal. And uh, concluding, uh, I want to express uh, again on behalf of my Deputy Director General IOD the, the, the very uh, the excellent satisfaction that IOD is recognized as a key partner and, uh, and full member of the RISP initiative. Uh, we do now hope that RISP will be a success story uh, of an international partnership. <coughs> Mr. Carlos Perez del Castillo, CGR Consortium Board Chair, Achim, Robert, Alain Cesar, colleagues and friends, ladies and gentlemen. It's indeed a great pleasure for me to attend this panel discussion on the Global Rice Science Partnership and this very impressive and successful third International Rice Congress in Hanoi. Let me take this opportunity to congratulate Iri and our host from Vietnam for the organization of an excellent congress. Please allow me to make a few points on behalf of my Director General, Dr. Papa Abdullah Sek, who unfortunately could only attend the opening day of this Congress and Africa Rises staff. As you may be aware, Africa Rises is one of the 15 CDR centers, but it's also an association of 24 member states in Africa. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, with the launching of QUIST, we are turning a set of virtual, independent, international research organizations working on rice into a global rice science partnership with one coherent research agenda involving hundreds of partners worth $100 million today and hopefully by 2015, $140, at least $140 million uh, per year. I am convinced that this will allow us to become more effective and efficient and have greater impact. Challenges are huge, but we can achieve results much faster if we know what we are doing where and when and with whom and if we divide tasks among us based on comparative advantage and mutual trust. <clears throat> and I think that is the spirit of CRISP. Ladies and gentlemen, rice is a global crop feeding more than half of humanity. And the availability and affordability of rice is crucial to people across the globe, and increasingly so in Africa. Many issues that we need to tackle cut across regions. There are great opportunities to learn from each other. And therefore, I think RICE really deserves this type of partnership. <coughs> CRISP is the first consortium research program of the new CGR, and with reason, we did not wait for the change management process to come up with this idea. Since December 2006, the three CGR centers involved in RICE research for development, ERI, Africa RICE, and SIA, have actively looked for ways to align their RICE research programs, first focusing on sub-Saharan Africa. And one key moment, 
of the launching of our joint East and Southern Africa Rice Program, ESARP, during the annual general meeting of the CGRI in December 2018 in Maputo. And also, ladies and gentlemen, it was at this time that thinking evolved towards the development of a truly global rice and development program. A partnership that would go beyond just, just a CGR and their partners and include other international research centers involved in, in rice. The first catch of the Global Rice Science Partnership was developed shortly afterwards. And of course, the process was then greatly accelerated by the CGR change management process. Uh, we therefore have an enormous advantage over the other centers that are currently developing their consortium research programs. However, being the first also means that the rest of the world, and of course the rest of the CGR, is watching us. I think we have raised a lot of expectations among our partners and among our staff, and we must, and on this we will, deliver on what we set out in the CRISP agenda. Africa needs CRISP. The continent is huge and has extremely limited rice research and extension capacity. Not aligning our work in Africa is highly confusing to the research partners that are still out there. It is could also be an enormous waste of resources. Africa can clearly use help if this assistance comes in a transparent and truly collaborative manner. But good collaborative research in Africa will also have spill over to other regions in the world. So Africa needs CRISP, but CRISP also needs Africa. CRISP will not conduct science for the sake of science, but science to achieve impact on the ground. We have a special theme, I can say it, entitled Supporting the Growth of the Global Rice Sector, that will proactively link our research networks with development partners. We therefore convinced that CRISP will make a difference, and that is what we need to ensure that rice is available and affordable to all. So, Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, it has been a particularly rewarding experience for me as an Africa Rice staff with an Erie and Sirac history to co-develop CRISP with our partners and I very much look forward to its implementation. Let me end by saying that CRISP is a great start of Erie's next 50 years of existence. Thank you very much. <laughs>